Hi, my name is John and this is Monday Checklist. In today's video, we'll be talking about the recent uh, announcement from Warner Brothers. Uh, in this case, the focus on the DCEU films or TV series. Question is, is, is it going to pan out? Is it going to be a big hit or is it going to be a big flop as we know to expect uh, Warner Brothers have missed the gun? No pun intended here. Anyway, look at the article here. According to CNBC.com, it mentions that James Gunn, who's going to head now DC's uh, slate of films, unveils new film and TV plans, uh, including fresh spins on Supergirl and Batman as well. My red flag here is, uh, is there really a big fan base on you know the spin-offs that they're going to hopefully try and uh, create a, 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 a demand? So the co-CEO of DC Studios, which is James Gunn, has greenlit a lot of the projects, which I have a lot of uh, apprehension, so to speak, here. Now, it mentions here uh, the new feature film of Batman and Damian Wayne, which is obviously based on the animated movies, has been prominent here. Actually, the animated uh, movies has been doing much better and they have a better storytelling than the ones being done in the live action anyway then you have uh superman which is you know i don't know how they're going to replace the 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 the, the, the big shoes that henry cavill has left the void and then supergirl now again who, who Unless they make a compelling story here, it's not just a gender swap of characters to 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 promote uh, uh, di different genders and whatnot. I think it's going to have an uphill bill, uh, hill bit, uphill uh, climb to 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 reach its success here. But let's wait and see. Let's investigate further. Now it mentions telling here that uh, um, according to James, storytelling is always king. That's all that matters to us. Yes, I think that's true, but the question here is storytelling has always been the not at the forefront, but always at the back seat in terms of uh, what they focus on, on what agendas are they trying to to promote in the box office here. Anyway, let's see here. Uh, so he mentions that so many of uh, uh, of you know that DC has been disconnected in films and TV series for a long time, which is true. So again, if you're going to create movies which is separate from the TV or connect them both, it has to be compelling. Otherwise, if you're just creating for the sake of you know, creating quantity over quality, uh, you know, doesn't serve anyone well in the long run, and you're costing millions or tens of millions or hundreds of millions of dollars in terms of production budget here. Anyway, so uh, Gunn noted that going forward, projects will be clearly labeled as either part of the DCEU or part of DC Elseworld, which is, you know, kind of a red flag for me because who wants uh, a DC Elseworld uh, franchise or film? Now, could they make standalones first and find out if there's an appetite for those content? Then they may consider, you know, formulating a universe in itself, just like the Monsters uh, universe that they planned before with the Mummy, which flopped miserably, uh, the, the remake uh, at that. Anyway. So let's see what are the upcoming film projects here and let's try to see if it's going to do well or try to foresee if it's going to do well. Now, the Superman Legacy, okay, which will be due out by 2025. The film will be written by Gunn and focus Superman's balancing his kryptonite historage, heritage with his human upbringing. Now, the story is okay, but the question, who's going to play the titular character? I think they haven't mentioned it, right? Unless if it's, you know, someone better than Henry Cavill you know, which I think they are going to have a terrible job. It's going to hurt the bottom because the Superman is the linchpin that has a, that has this DC universe uh, clinging to. Similar to how the Avengers were successful because of the Iron Man, the first film. If it weren't for the Iron Man making it a big hit, then everything else cannot follow here, which is, you know, so critical, you know, wasting the opportunity, the, 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 the popularity of Mr. Cavill. Uh, as of the moment now let's see who's next now we have the authority uh it's a uh, wild storm characters will join the dcu dcu as members of the authority takes matters in their own hands that to do what they believe is right who the heck is the authority uh, not, this doesn't look good 
And then you have the the Brave and the Bold. I think it's based on the comic series, which I found it interesting. So how are they going to spin it into a film? Again, who's going to don the cape again for for the Batman character? So obviously for the Damien, you can uh, I won't say plug in anyone, but at least uh, it's not yet uh, attached to a particular individual character or actor here. But for for the Batman, it's going to be Robin Pattinson who's playing the the, the recent iteration of the Batman, or they to get a, a new actor to play the role or an older one who already played it. So. It's kind of complicated. They have to get it, get those two things right first before they can even consider moving forward with you know the you know, the, the the Shazam, you know the debacle which is Black Adam, and you know consider a reboot of the DC, uh, of the Justice Leagues and so forth. Now here uh, you have another one, Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow, which is based on Tom King's comic series. Again, if the story is okay, and then you have you know the main superheroes, the main uh, characters that everyone knows and loves to support, you know, the storyline here, which is, you know, I think I'm all for it. But my concern is, you know, they're going to sideline the the, the main uh, superheroes here, or they're not going to do justice. Or if they were just to even copy based on what the comic is telling, if it's popular, I think it's going to do well at the very least. And then you have the the swamp thing. Now this is an intriguing concept, on a concept, but the story. Obviously, the swamp is not as popular as one would like, but who knows? But it's all about the the narrative here. But the question, but the the way they're pitting it, that it's telling its dark origins, can be difficult because it's not going to be for everyone here. So, again, uh, another red flag for 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 the DC plan film projects here now in terms of tv series this is my issue here now uh one of the tv series that they're trying to 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 follow is the the titular character of waller or amanda waller star starring viola davis which i think she does a, a great job but the, again her character alone is not going to warrant you know big following because for the DC to work, you have to have big hitters, superhero characters that are staple in the TV series. And Amanda Waller is only a, a sub-character if you think about it. And you need the, the main superhero, unless they're going to make cameos of Superman, Batman, all of those uh, Justice League members, similar to how uh, the animated uh, super, uh, Justice League Unlimited came to be then you know the tvc is focusing on amanda waller alone i don't think that's going to you know going to be enough and even if it's uh, a great actor of viola davis here now booster gold is another interesting as uh, a minor character in in the animated series and focusing on it again there's potential here but again are they going to compress the story arc here in one season or are they going to you know narrate it so that it can be made into a full film feature then it's going to be integrated with other characters it will be difficult here now what i'm interested here is in the lanterns here so the lanterns uh, is going to be a true detective style show centered in intergalactic cops john stewart and hal jordan as they uncovered a dark mystery now again if they try to make it a, a dark genre here which i don't think is going to do well because obviously you know the comics is for kids kids for entertainment and you know they're, they're supposed to be dark humor but on the lighter side not necessarily too dark and obviously you know trying to go overboard in terms of one one side of the pendulum can be detrimental here now one of my main concerns here is the last one which is paradise lost so paradise lost is akin to a game of Thrones style set in Timiskira. So, which is the main character of Origins of Wonder Woman. But here's the thing. Is Wonder Woman going to be present in that TV series? If she's not going to be present there, I don't think it's going to do well. Because, obviously, Game of Thrones has a book source that you can follow it. That's, you know, that everybody enjoyed as the series has progressed. But for, for this one, you know, the comics has only focused primarily on the main act. Oh, main actor, main superhero, which is Wonder Woman. None mo focus on the 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 uh, not shifting the focus on on the backstory of what happened before Wonder Woman came here, and that's my apprehension here. And you know, with the way that they are slating the film projects and television, 
you know it's kind of concerning if if you're a fan of DC and you know they they, they, they why can't they just focus on the big hitters you know recast superman focus on the superman and the batman you know interaction actually there was a animated which i think would have been tremendous here batman and superman were uh what was it let me see here batman superman uh, animated heck was it ah and there you go superman batman public enemies i think that would you know if they were able to translate that to the big live action that would be tremendous i mean there's a lot of story art that just if you focus on those two main characters you know warner Bros. could make a killing out of it but obviously getting it right who's going to play the main characters of superman and batman is so difficult and focusing on other sub characters you know even for Batman, I mean, you know, you can reboot the Batman franchise and focus on, you know, the slew of of, of uh, enemies that Batman has encountered throughout the, the comics history, even in for Superman here. Which is, you know, one can be hopeful, but, you know, one is also pessimistic in terms of its prospects here. Anyway, we'll see how it pans out here. So... Come back again on Monday for more Monday's checks list. Anyway, as always, if you find this content entertaining, uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe button. Also, leave your comments if you have any uh, thing to share. You know, comic heroes that you think that they sh should do justice, a better job than what they're doing currently here. Anyway, as always, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.